Okay, um, what is the molecular mass of table sugar or sucrose C12H22O11 and what is its molar mass in grams per mole? Okay, so let's write down what it gives us. It says sucrose is what we're looking for. Okay, so it asked first for the molecular mass, so we've been calling that the molecular weight, it's the same thing. Okay, so remember how to do these, you know, you just look up at the periodic table. The thing is, is when we're talking about molecular weight, it's the weight of one molecule in particular as opposed to a mole of molecules. Remember, a mole is Avogadro's number. So that's a lot of molecules, right? This is just one. So how many, what we're really doing is adding up these atoms, 12 times however much carbon atom weight. 22 times however much in hydrogen atom weighs, and 11 times however much in oxygen atom weighs. So let's just do that. So we get those um, values, of course, from the periodic table. So 12 times the um, atomic weight of carbon, right? 12.01. I got that from the periodic table. And then remember, that's an AMU, or um, Dalton's, if you want but we've been using AMU mostly in this class. So, uh, then 22 times hydrogen. Plus 11 times oxygen. So, um, just add those goods. So, um, let's go to uh, two digits past the um, decimal, so 342.30 AMU. Okay. So that's how much one molecule of sucrose weighs. Is that okay? Any questions on that particular part? So, the next question it asked is, what is the molar mass in grams per mole? Well, that's really nice. They actually gave us the units for grams uh, for molar mass. Um, but you don't normally have to be given those units because you should know them. And remember, I did some formal calculations of the molar mass on Wednesday, I think, for you guys. So um, if you want to, I did one for each one of the classes, a different one. I think I did water and carbon disulfide for uh, each of the classes. Go back and look at those. I don't say, I say don't do that formal calculation every time. Just recall that when you get the molar mass, it's going to be the same number with these digits, or with these uh, uh, units being different. Okay? So it's going to be effectively the same thing. You look up at the periodic table, and we're just going to really quickly formally calculate it out since I'm recording it, I'll write the whole thing out. But, um, and you guys can stop me if you're having trouble understanding where I'm getting this from. Sucrose weight? 
342.30 AMU, right? So this is one molecule. And how much does one mole weigh? One mole. Or what is that? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of sucrose, which is C12, H22. Does that make sense? Excuse me. Uh, kind of, right? So, again, <clears throat> you know, so if you look at the periodic table, it gives you the AMU, right? Remember that you can do the formal calculation using Avogadro's number, but the quick and dirty way is to just change the units, yes. So formally, we're not just changing the units, right? right. Okay. Is there any questions about that? Okay, good.